Can you solve this math challenge? Here's the question. Solve for the value of x cubed given that x squared plus 7x plus 49 equals 0. You can pause this video if you want to give this problem a try. Now, let's answer this question together. I have two solutions to this question. Let's start with our solution number one. Take note that given this equation x squared plus 7x plus 49 equals to 0, we can already say that x is not equal to 0. Because if we replace all x by 0, this is not equal to 0 or the left hand side is not equal to 0. So meaning x is not equal to 0. Now the question is why we do that or why we say that. Because what we're going to do here is to multiply both sides by x. Now this is safe because we know that x is not equal to 0. But before that, let's put this equation right here. Maybe we will use this equation later on. Now again, let's multiply both sides by x. Again, this is safe because we know x is not equal to 0. On the right hand side, x times 0 is just 0. And on the left hand side, x multiplied by x squared plus 7x plus 49 will give us x cubed plus 7x squared plus 49x. Now, what we're going to do here is to isolate x cubed. So rearrange some terms a little bit. This will give us x cubed equals negative 7x squared minus 49x. Now let's factor out negative 7 because we know 49 is just 7 times 7. So let's factor out negative 7. This will give us negative 7 multiplied by x squared plus 7x. Now, on the given equation a while ago, x squared plus 7x plus 49 equals 0. If we subtract 49 on both sides, this will give us x squared plus 7x equals negative 49. Now, look at this. We have the same expression, x squared plus 7x. And we know it is equivalent to negative 49. Therefore, we can replace this expression by negative 49. So we have now x cubed is equal to negative 7 times negative 49. And negative 7 times negative 49 is simply 343. Therefore, using our first solution, we get that x cubed is simply equal to 343. Now, let's, for using our first solution, we get that x cubed. Let's have our second solution. This is much easier than the first. Now, first thing to notice is in this equation, x is not equal to 7. Because if we replace x equal to 7, the left hand side is not equal to 0. So, if x is not equal to 7, x minus 7 is not equal to 0. So we can multiply both sides by x minus 7, like this. Now, on the right-hand side, 0 times x minus 7 is just 0. Now, let's focus on the left-hand side. This is very interesting because if you have x minus 7 times x cubed plus 7x plus 49, this is the same thing as this identity. x minus a times x squared plus ax plus a squared equals x cubed minus a cubed. Now, if a is equal to 7, then a squared is just 49. So, this fits in this identity. And it is equivalent to x cubed minus 7 cubed. And now, 7 cubed is just 343. Now, add 343 on both sides. Again, we get that the value of x cubed is just 343. Therefore, our answer to this question is 300. And 43. And as always, we are done.